Hey there folks, my name is Kai Fahrenholz and welcome to the Draft Pro Hockey's YouTube channel where today we're going to be discussing some players that impressed us at the 2021 Holinka Gretzky Tournament. This tournament really sets the tone for the upcoming draft class of 2004 born players and can ultimately set where most scouting services and individuals place these players in their early rankings. So up ahead, we have a collection of players that we believe stood out and may have even exceeded expectations going into the tournament. Keep an eye on these guys during the duration of the 2021-22 hockey season. One player who has really impressed me this tournament has been Russia's Alexander Pervalov. He's a left winger with unbelievable speed, able to easily get a breakaway or back off the defenders and create time and space for both himself and for his teammates. He's also a very smart hockey player with great vision and is able to either bring the puck to the net or pass it off to a teammate in an open spot. He also has a tireless motor and is always moving his feet in the offensive zone, looking for places to get open and places to get the puck to shoot from. This tournament was my first viewing of Cal Odelius, and he absolutely blew me away. His ability to play tough minutes against the opponent's top players and shut them down efficiently was super impressive. He also generated tons of offense from the back end, including some of the most remarkable stretch passes I've ever seen. He's also a transition monster, with the ability to take the puck end-to-end -end on his own with no issues whatsoever. In his own zone, he plays a strong, physical game and rarely gets caught out of position. All in all, he's shaping up to be one of the most polished defensive prospects eligible for the 2022 NHL Draft. Russian forward and captain Ivan Mirochnichenko is a smart all-around player who understands the game well and is always in an optimal position both while in offense and defense. He has good offensive instincts and throughout the tournament, he was able to contribute with goals and assists on multiple lines. The fact that he was producing while playing away from Mitchkov and Spetko leads me to believe that he is a flexible type of player that can fit in many different coaching schemes. There is definitely a path to carve out a role in the NHL's bottom six board if his offensive skills don't fully spell. Every game, he gives 110% effort, he finishes hits, wins icing races, and is willing to sacrifice the body to block shots. One issue I might have is that he failed to convert on a few high scoring chances, but even star players in the NHL make those mistakes, and I have no doubt that Mirosh Kuchenko will carve out a successful NHL career and be a favorite for all coaches he plays for. Sergei Ivanov was the starting goalie for the gold medal winning Russian team at the U18 Ivan Holinka tournament. He was a star from beginning to end and really solidified the crease. He plays a composed game for a small statured goalie at 5'11", 157 pounds. He has a lightning quick glove hand and is athletic side to side. He projects as an Anton Hudobin, Jonathan Quick mix type of goalie that can compete for a starting role at the next level. The thing that impressed me most about Julian Lutz is the high energy he plays with. He's got fast feet and a strong stride. Another really impressive thing about Julian Lutz is the creativity on his shots. I mean, the guy gets shots off from any angles of the ice and with nearly pinpoint accuracy. He doesn't shy away from physical battles and it'll be interesting to follow his development as he should gain strength and be even stronger in this area. One player I really like to watch at Linka tournament for Sweden's defender, Matthias Hevelis. He has a good performance all the tournament. He played a solid defense and shown his high offensive skills when he was dancing on the blue line, making great first passes and using his skating ability to join the rushes. Don't be surprised if you already see him in SHL this season in Linköping because that talent he already had. The player that impressed me the most at this tournament was Swedish forward Liam Ogren. I was most impressed by his intelligence, his puck facilitating ability, and the level of maturity he showed in his game. He was one of the strongest skaters I saw at this tournament, and he has the explosiveness out of his edges and turns to spin away from pressure and is something NHL scouts really look for. He actively looks to create turnovers inside the offensive or defensive zone by reading and reacting to the developing play. He has a solid skill set and a bright hockey mind that allows him to drive the play himself while not being an ultra skilled forward. I fully expect Ogren to be an A tiered prospect at the upcoming draft and a first round candidate. One player that stood out to me during the Holinka Gretzky Cup was USA forward Sam Plant. After my first viewing, I made sure to keep track of his progress throughout the remaining games of the tournament. He's a mobile and versatile forward who plays the game with skill. Plant offensively reads the game better than most of his peers. His smooth and fluid skating, along with his quick wrists, displayed in stick handling, shooting, and playmaking, allowed him to navigate around the traffic of the ice, score from dangerous areas, and set up his teammates. He does not let his smaller frame slow him down, as he uses his intelligence to understand his surroundings. 
plant is full of determination to outperform others to share the ice with them. Certainly an intriguing and entertaining player to watch. One player that really impressed me during the Lincoln Grisky Cup was U.S. defenseman Jackson Dorrington. Dorrington is a big, reliable, shutdown defenseman that brings so much stability to the U.S. blue line during his tournament. He plays with a lot of poise, never seeming stressed or rushing plays when under pressure. He isn't overly flashy, but he is highly effective in all areas of the game. While his speed isn't jaw-dropping, his backscanning fluidity allowed him to stay on top of rushing opponents during breakouts. He makes the little details that can get, get overlooked at times, but that can be so important in key moments of the game. One thing I also really like about him is how physically mature he already is. He can deliver huge crushing legal hits, but also can receive them and not seeming bothered at all. I can't wait to see him develop during the course of the next season. Now it was tough to really dislike anyone on that Slovakian team, but if there's one guy that really stood out to me, it was Juraj Slavkovsky, the big 6'4", 225 pound left winger. There really isn't anything that he can't do. I mean, he's not the fastest guy in the world, but what he impressed me with is his ability to just protect the puck. I don't know if there's going to be anyone else in this draft class who will be able to protect the puck like he does, along with the creative stick handling he has, the behind the back passes, you know, he's a very crafty playmaker, and I think he really showed off his shot in this tournament as well. Looking at these one-timers on the power play, if he could, you know, get it a little bit more accurate, he can easily be a top five pick for the 2022 NHL draft.